The human DNA and ideas utilize solar energy to transform the Earth into a civilization worth $600 trillion. Who defines the rules for transforming chaos into effective systems? Centralized power or free markets? And who enforces the rules? Bureaucracy or something else? It's a history-long battle of ideas. Homo sapiens drove 40 human species to extinction when their leaders invented spirits. This led to centralization of power and growth of tribe size and productivity. Competitors living in anarchy were defeated. Centralized states seemed like the only option until the birth of democracy in ancient Greece and Rome. After democracy was replaced by authoritarian regimes, empires stagnated and collapsed. Thanks to decentralized, self-regulating guilds, Venice became a world trade leader. Once power was monopolized, Venice went from an economic powerhouse to a museum. Decentralization of power in England empowered innovators and entrepreneurs and led to the Industrial Revolution. Production increased tremendously, bringing wealth and power to Great Britain throughout the 19th century. In the 20th century, the crash of an under-regulated stock market in the U.S. resulted in the Great Depression. Crisis and social unrest led to centralization of power across the globe. In some countries, it led to extreme violations of human rights. In others, it led to the growth of state intervention and spendings that seemed to be the only remedy. However, state monopolies caused deadly combination of unemployment, high inflation, and corruption. Thatcher and Reagan used high extreme market theories to gain support and remove the state from the market. Eventually, centralized planning systems lost to capitalism and free markets. But the bureaucracy still ruled the planet until the invention of blockchain technology. Bitcoin has already become a substitute for failing financial systems and central banks in countries with hyperinflation, like Venezuela or Nigeria. Will blockchain replace bureaucracy in every aspect of our lives, from capital markets to governments, or will it fail in its attempt to change the world?